We're broadcasting live from the Thunderdome in Suniapolis, Forsk, Minnesota, home of the Purple Mutant Eaters. You can hear their anthem being played down on the field right now. Of course, written by the artist formerly known as Pimp, Purple Brain, one of the all-time classics. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Baltimore Razors take on the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> it's a beautiful day for MFL football. At least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzrow here with you along with my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works in deep fry at the concessions. He said, how, not who, you idiot. Even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? Oh, that was a great throw and a great catch! Yeah, but, but it was an interception. Oh, yeah! And he scores! Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? The kick, the, the kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. It's three yards on that run. Third and four. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. The return man catches the ball and hits upfield. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. He 
It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. It. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. And it's first and ten. Oh. The defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do oh, with the punishing hit. remain in the half. Wait! I gotta take a dump! Second down and six. Hey. And he breaks through for a touchdown! Listen to this crowd! Yay! Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know what's kicking. Look out! They try to catch the defense napping and fake the kick, and he finds his target for two! a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and that player has one speed. He's done it's a gain of ten yards. Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick. It's a whole lot of player right there. Third down and, well, good luck. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Well, V five fo fum. I'm not finishing that joke, Grim. The only look. devastating hit knocks the ball loose. was an all-pro NFL hit. Ah, that's not fair. Someone should call a penalty on this lap. Yeah, the death penalty. Take a bite of nuts. Only we get out of And it's 
first and ten. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> yeah. First ten and three. Quite the female following. Listen to them. Yeah, they all want to jump his bones. I wish the middle linebacker would have jumped his bones. I just lost a saw buck on that play. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Welcome to Rip. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Rip the coast! Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of my time! Yeah, if only one team is gonna show up, why should we have to? The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. The 20. He's at the 10. And that's a touchdown. Man, once he saw daylight, he was gone. The kickoff team didn't even know what hit him. Kick it. In that order, Grim? Oh, and they fake it. Didn't see that coming, did you, Bricks? And perfect pass for two points. That's a piece of art right there, Bricks. Yeah, Grim. The QB turned the defense into an abject mess. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked down? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. That must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shit house. Second down and more than the QB would like. He is fighting for every yard. Touchdown! Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They need a good.
good return here to set up the offense. And he kicked the snot out of that ball. <laughs> Someone get him a Kleenex. First and ten. And Lynn Katz will give them a first down. Now, I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Unfortunate. And that'll be second and eight to go. And another interception. This quarterback is going to. Man, what a hit that was. First and ten. He refuses to go down. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the pig stuck in my ear again. the ball into the defense picking up seven second and three and he finds open spaces running toward the end zone turn on your jet you son of a bitch <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. Holy shit, a fake kick! That's a beautiful pass for the conversion. And that's quite a creative and intuitive dance he's doing. Hey, Grim, what do you call a wolf who is intuitive? I don't know, what? And a werewolf! <laughs> oh, man, I just cracked myself up. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, nice hit! Second down and set. Two minutes remaining in the game. We'll be right back, folks. Jeez, can this game take any longer? I've got a date with Hot Wanda after this. Junior, I told you that girl is nothing but trouble. I don't think that's a mole on her lip either. player just transformed into a giant. Good luck blocking this guy. Whoa! -ho. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. And that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. Defense goes work speed. Man, that defender just turned on his jets. Oh, man, talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. How have they not 
kill him yet. He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. He's seven layers of smarmy, Grim. Oh, we get out of Yeah. down and long and they've had enough the offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref yeah, and the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players Quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. The offense. Look out. That's an all-out attack on the cube. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. I don't know. First and ten. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. <laughs> they use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Ah! And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. <laughs> and it's first and... And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Yeah, same as Britch's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rap. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking. It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I almost wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard, though, when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. Now, this guy had a lot of integrity. If he took a bribe, he blew the whistle. He put his money where his mouth was. Oh, yeah. He now his mouth is where his foot was, on the ground. First down and three. In a fight between King Tong and Godzilla, the player on Roy Gray. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. Yeah, that's why he's on defense, schmuck. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Eaters are nothing but blue today, taking a home loss. Uh, does that mean they'll eat a different color? Am I safe to ask them for autographs, Grim? What color eats what, Grim? They've got 99 problems, but a win ain't one of them. That's right, Grim. Just like a bridge over the troubled water. Like a whole lot of Rosie. The game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now. Yeah! <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you can fill it. Oh, shit, what up?
What? 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 What?